Right? I am Stan Baker of the Human Television. I'm not on TV. TV's on me. Okay? And also, uh, I just like to point out, I'm not a poet, but I play one on television. <laughs> what am I going to say? Oh, you know, um, actually, I just wanted to point out before I actually start into, you know, my, my routine or whatever it's called, my, my act, that this is the real high-def television. You guys like high-def? Yeah. You into high-def? Good, because if you're high and you're deaf, you're going to love my act. Can I say? <laughs> That's right, I play, play a lot of nursing homes. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's one of my regulars. What? what? Can I change your diaper? <laughs> well, that all depends. Okay. So. Uh. I just want to get it out there in the open what kind of guy I am. What kind of TV I oh, am. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, but I also, you know, I'm wearing this thing, but I'm not a prop comic. I just want to point that out, not that I have anything against prop comics. There's some great ones, like uh, was Gallagher, uh, Carrot Top, uh, Clint Eastwood, you know. I mean, I mean, I have a lot in common with Eastwood. You know, he talks to an empty chair, and I put an empty TV on my head. You know, it's, I think we both like to work with furniture. Uh, and also, I actually have a problem with the label comic because, well, you know what they say, a comic is someone who says funny things, uh, but a comedian is someone who says things funny. Well, I'm what's known as uh, an appliance, all right? And uh, not, a, not a very new one either, I gotta point it out. It's, I've got this antique TV here, I, I just can't part with it. All my friends are going, hey, Stan, <laughs> it's 2013. You want to get one of those new flat screens? And I just say, hey, doesn't get any flatter than this. <laughs> the only thing flatter than my screen is my Nielsen ratings. That's right. Uh, but you know, having an old TV like this that uh, kind of messes me up sometimes. Like, I don't, I can't even get any of the new shows. Like, my version of Game of Thrones consists of me doing the crossword puzzle while sitting on the toilet. I, I don't know. <laughs> think about it. Actually, don't think about it. <laughs> Let me erase that from your from your mind. <laughs> Just like it never even happened. Okay. Well, you know, uh, speaking of old TV, as I was, uh, there's, you know, I guess, does anybody here remember those old KTEL record commercials? They were late at night. KTEL, get everything you ever did. Oh, every record ever recorded. Uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know if you remember, there was also a very smaller company. There was, there was a little niche company that was their competitor. And actually, I like their commercials a lot better. I just happen to have them right here, and I think I'll show it to you. Uh, Right now, if I, if I can find it. Oh, there's a switch right there. As all true rock and roll fans know, for a short while, Bob Dylan converted to Christianity. But what you may not know, that it was during this time that he's completed the most major work of his life. Yes, it was back then that Bob Dylan rewrote his entire library of hits into spiritual songs of praise. And now through this amazing television offer, you can get Bob Dylan's greatest hits rewritten for the Lord from Pray Tell Records. Yes, you'll get such great songs as Mr. Nazarene Man. <laughs> hey, Mr. Nazarene Man, say prayer for me. And that's not all. You'll also get Ecclesiastically 4th Street. <laughs> Presbyterian Homesick Blues. Pray, Lady Pray. And how about this one? Come gather round, heathens, wherever you own, and lift up the spirit inside you has grown. And that's not all. You'll also get, I've read all the watchtowers. <laughs> I dreamed I was St. Augustine. And how about this one? Rainy Day Romans chapter 12, verse 35. And when I feel the misbehaved, but everybody must get saved. And the list doesn't end there. Although I'm sure you wish the harmonica would. <laughs> but no, this is a late night record commercial and it goes on and on and on and on and on. That's right, you'll also get Just Like a Sinner, Just Like a Woman at the Well, Just Like Rolling Away the Stone, Just Like Thomas Aquinas Blues, Just Like All the Other Just Like songs he wrote. Plus this, the most memorable of all Bob Dylan's tunes. How many times can man change the world by singing songs completely out of tune? The answer, my friend, is knowing that ye sinned, knowing you can still be born again. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Good thing I don't have the clap for us all. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ was a Jew. And so was Bob Dylan. But for a short time, they were both Christians. <laughs> and now, through this amazing television offer, you can get Bob Dylan's greatest hits rewritten for the Lord from Pray Tell Records. Here's how to order. Please, God, give me one of those albums. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank Philip for letting me come up and do sort of non poetry uh, is uh, how you say uh, kind of uh, under under the whatever you do. Radar. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, and uh, I I'll see you later. Uh, I'll check you on the rerun. Yeah. Hey, Baker.